You want me to love you, but you don't love me now. Why should I give my heart to you? We gonna shut that motor down. I've been searching for you for a long time now, but you've left my heart's vision. Now you want me to stay in your life. That won't happen again. No, you said no. I said no. Can't blame you. No. That's I like that book. I like that book. It's back at you. My name is Charlie Ray Crawford, and I want to talk about uh, author Frederick Backman. Uh, he wrote a book. It's called A Man Called Ove. It's called, called a lot of called going on here. A Man Called Ove. Um, I want to say it's just general fiction. There's, there isn't, you know, an overglaring genre to this book, but there's a lesson to be learned here. What do you do, right, when you're born and you have to live a life where you come to learn that no matter what, everything that you will come to love, like, or indifferent, will soon end. Whether that's from you moving on or something as, you know, serious as death. Um, and so it chronicles a lot of that, um, that sentiment and those themes. And I think it's very, very important. And so rock with you, boy. I'm on Goodreads, and I'm going to read y'all the summary. I'm going to tell you what it says. Meet Ove. He's a curmudgeon? A curmudgeon? Man, whatever, man. Meet Ove. He's a curmudgeon? I don't know what that word is. The kind of man who points at people he dislikes as if they were burglars caught outside his bedroom window. He has staunch principles, strict routines, and a short fuse. People call him the bitter neighbor from hell. But behind the cranky exterior, there is a story and a sadness. So when one November morning, a chatty young couple with two chatty young daughters move in next door and accidentally flatten Uwe's mailbox, it is the lead in to a comical and heartwarming tale of unkempt cats, unexpected friendship, and the ancient art of backing up a U-Haul, all of which will change one cranky old man and a local residents association to their very foundations. I promise you, and if you read this story, you agree with me that it's extremely heartwarming and it's it's re it's it's revealing that we cannot just go around, let's say for instance, bullying and making fun of people because they're bitter or, you know, casting some type of um, assumption on them because they could literally be going through it and they, they could be at their wits ends of things. and. You read this story, you'll see what kind of love and patience and tolerance these neighbors and a lot of these people that he come in contact with. And sometimes he do bulldoze over those people that I'm talking about. But sometimes you got to just brush it off and just know that that's the person. It's not that person having anything personal with you. And so, personally, I like that book. I like this book. Look, no disrespect. No disrespect. It's all love. Look, your owner will be back in the jiffy. Let's not disrespect each other. Let's show a little love. All right? Now, that's better. Be a good... Hey, all right, see, now you yelling. I will put you in time out, but you got canines. Some kibbles and bits. And, and it'll be a good book to reflect on. Okay, so this is bloody wet. I am quite literally sitting in Mill Row here 
waiting on my delivery. I'm with it out here. Good thing I got the fresh face Blicky with me in case someone run up and try disrespect. But quite literally in the middle of the road, Bloomington, Indiana, I thought my dispatcher and my trucking company loved me and cared for me and concerned for me. But I am literally in the middle of... Alright, I need to stop saying that. I thought the writing style was absolutely awesome. Um, Frederick Bachman, he has this very simple way of writing, but at the end of the day, it's very profound. Like I say, he used Ovi in um, a roundabout way to, to get off a lot of philosophical ideas and philosophical methods that we should live this life. Just because he didn't like people who drove, you know, BMWs or Volvos or things like that, doesn't mean that he's a bad guy. He had a standard way of living. He stuck to it. And in my eyes, I thought his life was that much better because he had a code of conduct that he lived by. And I love that. I love that very simple way that um, Frederick Bachman painted Uwe. Did I finish the book? Definitely I finished the book. And it didn't take me that long to finish it neither. I think I, it took me about three days, four days to finish. But it was not an empty read. It's very profound. It makes you think. It makes you reflect on life. And with Uwe's life being so simple, but yet so profound, it makes you look at your own life and say, all right, what the hell am I doing with my life? What things am I going to stick to? Even though Uwe, this book, and this character is one of my favorite characters. Again, that red shelf is just, it's, it is very, very limited. But um, let's just say if there was a light red shelf, this book would definitely be on it. And um, actually it, it might be on the red shelf because chapter eight of this book is, is hands down top three favorite chapters of all time that I've ever read. Uh, chapter 8 was absolutely impeccable and I, I thought that laid out um, the most hell to be honest you know true marks what the hell sorry about that but no, I think chapter 8 laid out the true marks of a stand-up person somebody who lived his life on humility sees the uh, the benefits and struggle but still would like to, to, to keep on going keep on ticking right fight the good fight probably around fall you know Read this during the fall season or when you're just coming out of uh, uh, winter, right? So read this about, you know, maybe the beginning of March because you're going to need a pick-me-up and so, uh, spring would probably do that for you. I wasn't disappointed in this book at all. Um, even though I think um, it took a while to get up to speed, like there's a lot of places where I was like, okay, what the hell is going on? This is just this old dude just pissing off everybody in the community. Um, when is this story, right? This, you know, that the blurb talks about this sad story of, of Mr. Uwe going to start. And um, it kind of picked up a little slow. Uh, there was a mysterious element of, you know, him talking to his wife and things like that. And that sort of picked up, but I thought the character arc was, was pretty cool. And how they uh, laid out uh, Uwe and a lot of the other characters. Um, at the end of the day, I enjoyed the book. I think anybody who wants to have a, a introspective read about a lot of these old people out here who might seem like they're bitter or whatever, nah, man, it might be some some serious things that have happened in their past that have shaped them. And all they need is just that person that would, you know what I mean? Um, just be kind to them, hear them out, and, and help them you know, in the latter years of their life to, to be a more kind person because they really do have it in them, right? And, uh, the core of who we are, I believe everybody was made in, in God's image like the Bible speaks of, but um, a lot of people don't see that in themselves, and, you know, and that's a conundrum that we all find ourselves in sometimes. So, yeah, it, it ain't no news to me, but reading it and, and, and getting that reinforcer that, you know, these old people, just because they're stuck in their ways does not mean that they're, you know, oh, they're angry bitter old mr such and such and mrs such and such just stay away from them nah man nah don't, don't 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 talk like that don't be like that i gave this book a four out of five stars again there was a lot of um uh slow parts in the pacing with the plot but when it comes to this character it was very very well done uh the character was 
was 3D. Um, the, uh, the author did great with the emotions that he wanted to evoke at certain parts of the, of the book. And you felt it. You felt it hard. You know, when Uwe was, 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 was bitter and you really got to know him, you, you felt bitter. When he was uh, resentful, you felt resentful. When he was hurt, you felt hurt. And that's what you want out of a book. When an author can uh, bring out the emotions that he intend the reader to have at any point in the book, then, you know, it, it's, it's usually a success. See, I definitely would um, recommend this to any and everybody because we all have, you know, elders in our lives who might not be the most fun that we would want them to be. And even if they are, there's an element of mystery to them. Like, man, I wonder what happened in her life way back when or in his life way back when that made them this person they are today. So Frederick Bachman, left hand salute. You're a good dude. I want to read a lot more of your books. I didn't finish Bear Town, but I know you got other books out there. Um, and I'm definitely a fan now after reading the simplicity the simplicity yet profound work that is a man called Uwe and um hey it is what it is now we so peace Charleroi out let that sink in